Dogs and Calories. In the July 2007 issue, Consumer Reports examined the calorie content of two kinds of hot dogs, meat, usually a mixture of pork, turkey, and chicken, and all beef. The researchers purchased samples of several different brands. The meat hot dogs averaged 111.7 calories compared to 135.4 for the beef hot dogs. A test of the null hypothesis that there's no difference in the mean calorie content yielded a p-value of 0.124, with a 95% confidence interval for ye the mean of meat minus the mean of beef include zero. Explain. So we have um, the, the uh, sample mean for the meat hot dogs, or basically group one, was 111.7 calories, and the sample mean for the beef hot dogs was 135.4 calories. Okay, and we had, we did a test of hypotheses. So one test is that the mean of basically group one, or the meat hot dogs, minus the mean of the beef hot dogs is equal to zero, that there is no difference, and the alternative is that there was a difference, does not equal zero. Okay, and our p-value, the p-value for this test uh, ended up being 0 0.124. Okay, so this is this means that alpha at alpha equal 5% or alpha equal 10%, uh, we fail to reject. So if we choose alpha equal to 5%, this means we fail to reject the null, which means we do not have evidence of a difference. Okay, so if we made a 95% confidence interval for the difference, okay, that means we are essentially testing at the uh, same as uh, we've got a 5% significant level, because 95% is 5% short of 100, our significance level is 5%. So this is the equivalent of having alpha equal to 0 0.05. So at alpha at 5%, we did not reject the null hypothesis, meaning we did not have evidence of a difference. So, and we should have the same conclusion when we find a confidence interval for the difference. So that means our confidence interval will not show evidence of a difference. Which means zero will be inside our in interval, will be inside our confidence interval.